Oh, it's gonna be a bad one. What's up guys? Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. So in today's video, we are detailing this beautiful black Mercedes AMG. It is a E63 S AMG. This thing is incredible. Now we're doing a full paint correction in a one year coating, as well as wheels off. So we're gonna remove each of the wheels. We're gonna clean them inside and out and coat them inside and out as well. So follow us along as we go through the process and see some of the befores and afters on this thing because it's pretty hammered. If you're enjoying videos like this, and I hope you are, consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss stuff. It is a chilly morning. It is, is it December yet? No, it's November. No, wait, it's December. It's December, beginning of December. We're not really into our winter season yet here in Virginia, but usually January and February are going to be the coldest months. Now let's take a quick look at this. The wheels are pretty gross and they're gloss black, so they definitely need to be cleaned. We're gonna hand polish these, maybe a little bit of machine polishing, uh, but we're gonna take them off and clean them inside and out as well as getting these calipers cleaned. The paint is really, really bad. You can't really see too much in the flat light here. But once we clean it and pull it in, we'll examine it under the lights and you'll see what I mean. As far as the interior goes, not too much on the interior. It's just gonna be a basic cleanup, but we are gonna clean this leather and condition it. It's a little too shiny. So that usually just means oil buildup, but the leather is beautiful. Look at this. Mm, awesome. And this thing is incredible. You'll, you'll hear it when it starts up. Now we're definitely going to be using our hot water pressure washer, the AR Blue 630. This is the hot water version. Crank, whoops, there we go. Crank this thing on and this will provide nice warm water. It's not gonna be super hot, but nice and warm and it just increases the cleaning power, makes the whole process more enjoyable as well. Your hands won't be too cold when you're actually using the pressure washer. Of course, your buckets, you fill up with hot water also. Now, as far as chemicals that we're going to be using today, uh, we're using a bunch of chemicals from Vonix. So we're gonna be using their Citrone shampoo. It is a degreasing shampoo. I have that over there, so let's go mix that up. So I'm only filling up the foam cannon about halfway. So I'm only gonna put two ounces in here. And this stuff is very concentrated, produces some nice, thick, lubricating foam. So I'll eyeball about two ounces or so. And it's okay if it's a little over, that's good. It's all right, no worries. Don't forget, you can now pick up the Vonix products at Car Supplies Warehouse, enter code MORAN10, you'll get 10% off. Yeah, I love that oh stuff. So I also have some purest clay in here in hot water. This helps the clay become more malleable and easier to handle. So I actually put two pieces in there when one piece gets cold. I put it in here, fold it up, of course, put it in there, grab the other one and continue around the vehicle. Could be, could be overspray. Yeah, I, no, you know what? I don't think it was painted, but it was definitely, the body shop did some stuff. Maybe they did, maybe they did do some painting to it. I don't know. It's the thing with body shops. You just never know with them. Yeah, the bottoms are definitely got some grittiness to them. But uh, it's coming right off the clay bar. No, no problems. So down towards the bottom portions, we do have some grittiness and grossness. Probably tar, other bits onto the paint but now the paint is nice and smooth. This came off actually very, very easily. <laughs> Why can't you reach the top? It's just a wagon. It's just a wagon. Oh, there's some dents on this towards the bottom. What I thought was contamination was just 
a dent with like a little chip in it. I just have the rear, the rear. Oh, look at this. You miss this entire top middle section. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm also gonna hit all these emblems with a water spot remover and a brush. <laughs> oh, I got that in my throat. <laughs> Now we usually just use an APC for these emblems, but for some reason, we've been getting vehicles with a lot of water spotting on the emblems. So this is gonna help. This is gonna help get in between all the lettering because it gets annoying trying to remove water spots in between the emblems here. So this helps tremendously. All these seams too. I'm using the Shine Supply Spot Free which is supposed to be diluted, but I'm using it straight here. But of course, it's because it's on a wet panel also, so that's fine. And I'm rinsing it off immediately. Are you? Yeah, well, wifey's rinsing it off immediately. Now, even though we're gonna take these wheels off and clean them inside and out, I'm still going to clean them as much as I can right now. Sorry, I need a rinse. I'll be really careful what you have to say. That's rude. Anyway, like I was saying, even though we're gonna deep clean these, I want to clean these as much as I can right now. It will make that uh, cleaning process easier when I take them off. Wow, these rotors are huge. I can't, ah, uh, I can't get behind them with this well enough. So, yeah, so I am gonna use this brush to get all the way. Oh man, that's annoying. All right, I may not be able to get all the way to the back because the, uh, the shield is shielding it. That's so nice and warm. The Mercedes is now washed and deconned. We're gonna pull it in, dry it, and inspect it. You can already see how bad the paint looks. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? That's okay. We'll make it look incredible. Will we? We will. Now, of course, this is a 2015. The owner is not looking for perfection. There's going to be things in here in the paint. I can already see etching and little spots that it's not gonna come out. But we're, we're shooting for 90% if we can. If we get up to 90%, I think the owner will be extremely happy with that. So let's see what we can do.
And like I mentioned, there are defects in here that are not going to come out. You can actually see some of the spots here, little pock markings, some stone chips as well. Some of these I can fix and I'll just fill them in, make them look better. But just realize that as we're going along, this is a 2015, it's got some wear and tear. It's got some crazy issues like this going on where, you know, the dealership or body shop really, really messed it up, did some wet sanding and then, you know, tried to buff it out, did not do a good job at all. So there's a couple of those areas here um, that are just extremely bad. Some deep scratches here, some deep scratches on the roof as well, so we can minimize those. Some really bad gouges here in the bumper, not much we can do as far as eliminating it completely, but it'll look much better. Oh, oh boy. Oh, man, that's bad. Mm, more, more of the same. So let's attack this with a, an aggressive combo. We're gonna, go, we're gonna go with a microfiber disc and we're gonna use the Vonix V Cut, I believe it's called. Did you get coffee? You didn't bring any coffee for me? Wow, thanks a lot. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. The dishes were done. I was up there just a moment ago. I know that the dishes were done. Yeah, mm-hmm. So we have their V-cut, their V-polish, and then their V-finish. Yeah, their V-finish. So let's grab the V-cut. We're gonna use the V-polish. We'll see if we need the finish. Oh, somebody was hungry. Oh, gross, you left the feet. Gross. <laughs> guess those aren't yummy. Ugh, I guess not. Now we are gonna be testing out the new SPTA little cordless polisher, and this comes in a one inch, a two inch, and a three inch. And I have to say, I do like the design of it. Um, it is, of course, the trigger, uh, trigger model here instead of just a button like it was before and variable speed here, which is nice. Now this model here, I still like, and I just use this for one inch polishing, uh, but it's still really, really nice. I'm just not a fan of this where you have to click it on here and then adjust the speed. Just personally, I don't like it, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It, it still works just fine. In fact, let me see if these batteries are compatible because Oh, thank you, SPTA. Good job, good, good job. You made them compatible. All right, so now we have double the batteries. What are you doing? Now this design, unfortunately, this thing broke on me. The buttons no longer work. I tried charging it, absolutely nothing. So they upgraded this design and uh, this was a cool idea having this little flip head, you know, like this, it's, it's nice. And it did come with a bunch of accessories, so I'll just use those accessories with the new polisher because they do all fit on everything. But it was rechargeable, didn't come with a separate battery. And uh, yeah, this thing just didn't last long. It died within the you know couple of months that I was actually using it. So it could have been good, but mm, nah, there's a fail on this one. So they upgraded the design. This is much, much better. In fact, all the other mini polishers that you see in the market are looking very much like this. The Flex still has its own design, but now we have two of these. So now me and wifey can use these separately, which is pretty cool. Now I use this for um, three inch and one inch polishing. Also, it does come with those pads and even a little rotary action. The great thing I like about the Flex is the, is the fact that you can switch out the heads like this extremely easily from this larger throw to the smaller throw to the rotary action. So Flex has definitely got the winning hand on this design here, the quick release. You still have to use a little tool for this, but that's okay. This actually does work really well also. So you'll see this in action. And it comes with a ton of pads. So I like that as well. And it comes with brushes. I forgot about that. Check these out. Little two inch and one inch brushes. So I like that. That's a really nice design. Now for polishing, let's go with the V-cut, like I mentioned, the microfiber disc. Now I'm using this. Now I've had this for over a year now I've been using it. This is called Gliz. This is a polishing optimizer. It's basically added lubrication. So what I do is one mist and then I'll put my product and you don't have to overuse this product. I'm gonna just use four pea sized drops Pretty small to start with because this stuff does go a long way. I'm not priming the pad. This acts as your primer. It adds lubrication to the pad. So it does aid with dusting and wipe off. And again, I've been using it for over a year and it's really good stuff. I will use it when I'm doing heavy cutting. All right, 
Smith that did a really good job. Definitely, I think it's gonna need to be cut like twice. So that is what I call my, you know, first cutting pass. And that knocked out like a lot, 50% or so. Let's go a little bit further because I want to make this look better. But again, I have to kind of call it at a certain point because I, as you can see, there's a lot of other defects in the paint that are not going to come out. So let's do another hit. Oh, wow. Okay, we're dealing with, okay, I mean, it's not bad. We can definitely do a pretty heavy cutting on this because we're reading 4.8 to 5. Uh, that's 4.7. Okay, it's not bad. That's not bad at all. Some areas may be thinner, even on this area here, it's down to four. So we can only go so far on that. So at least there's enough paint there to, to cut. Still, even when you see readings like this that aren't too bad, still tread carefully. So now, oh yeah, oh yeah, there's some deep stuff, but again, oh man, that looks way better. So I'm working on this side here. This is what it used to look like, as you remember. This is what it used to look like right here. And yeah, now you see there's lots of micromarring, lots of hazing. We're cutting pretty deep, but the polishing cycles are not so long that we're heating up the pad and heating up the panel. It's like two slow passes and then maybe, you know, another lighter pass and it really clears it up. Actually this, yeah, that looks pretty good. This actually looks better. The second cut does a little bit better. So that's what we're having to do. We're having to cut it twice. And again, it's, we're going aggressive but we're also checking along the way and making sure that we're not going too aggressive. And, and making sure to blow out the pads too. That keeps them clean and cool. Now you gotta turn it on first. Shut up. <laughs> I know. Okay, four, six. We were reading in like, yeah, the four eights to fives before. Yeah, it's about the same. That's five, that's still good. Ooh, Ooh that's low. Right, okay, that's low. So that's why it's good to take readings along the way and don't just buzz over everything. All right, that's good. So we're gonna keep polishing, or we're gonna keep compounding and take measurements along the way. And then we'll buzz through this with the polish and that should be much quicker and easier. So we're also noticing that down here, the road rash is really bad. So there's gonna be lots of well, pitting. Look at there. Yuck. Oh yeah, it's to the point where it just needs to be repainted. We'll, we'll gloss it up, it'll look better, but. Ooh, that is low. Oh yeah, yep. So we gotta be careful around here. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, we can maybe do like one cutting oh, and then, that's and then that's it. Yeah. It's okay, it's gonna be in some areas that it's gonna be thin, but eh, overall, I think we can do one, maybe two cuts and call it a day on that. Or maybe just one cut and then we'll polish it. So when you're working on vehicles like this, um, at least for us, you know, you see a lot of videos on YouTube that uh, a lot of the details just, you know, and it's nice that they kind of show off their skill and what they can do to vehicles and bringing them back, but uh, they don't often show you the areas that don't come out that great, like down there. That's not gonna come out that great. Oh, I know, this is where somebody attacked it, like wet sanded it and, yeah. Here, hold the light further away and you'll see, oh yeah, like, ugh. 
That's really bad. Yeah, measure that. What's that at? Oh, okay. Okay. At least we can cut that out because the owner was concerned about those horrible marks. So we definitely have to get those out to an acceptable degree. Yeah, we're, we're working with paint here that's so trashed and some areas are very thin that you have to be careful. So that's why I show this in the videos. I show the areas that come out great and I show the areas that don't come out so great to show you the reality so that you as a detailer running a business know how far to go. And that's a discussion you have with your customer and document that stuff. Bring your camera, get your camera out of your phone and document that and show this is why I can't go any further because of that risk. So you do not take risks when it comes to polishing vehicles. It's not worth it. If once you burn through, if you burn through on a hood like this, you'd have to pay to get that whole hood done or your insurance and you're still gonna have to pay a deductible. So look guys, do not run that risk. It is not worth it, trust me. So now with everything cut, very, very heavy. We did go pretty heavy, but we're taking measurements along the way. There are some areas that have some other defects and, and some lighter scratches that, uh, or some deeper scratches, I should say, that we lightened up, but we can't go any further because they are thin areas on the paint. And uh, it is looking incredible. Look at how the paint looks compared to what it was before. So now we're gonna go into polishing it and, and refining it. Uh, trying to do that really in one step. So we're not gonna have to polish and then further finish or refine the paint. Really, we're doing that all in one step. Some paint, now some paints may require three steps, but let's see if we can get away with just that polishing slash refining step. <laughs> 